Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps other people know when I post videos. And welcome to week 147, I believe, update. And how did you like my new introduction? And uh, yeah, so that was really me back in 2020 in the early days. I was uh, pretty close to 400 pounds. I was actually 367 pounds. And uh, so I just wanted to let you know how we did. Well, we're not doing too well as far as the carnivore goes for some reason or other. And uh, in fact, I weighed myself this morning and my weight is up to 233 pounds. So I said, ouch, yeah. But we're not going to worry about that. And I'm looking at it at the overall, what I've been able to accomplish in a two and a half year plus period being on a low carb weight loss. So what we got going on for this coming week coming up there, we're going to finish up some uh, keto meals this week, uh, continue making some recipes, and uh, we're going to uh, start the beef and butter fast midweek. Have to go get a few uh, things, basically, basically some more beef. And uh, the beef and butter fast, I've done that many, many times, and I've been really, really successful. And the whole idea of this now is to try to get my body back into ketosis and uh, keep my uh, beef... Uh, in my portion controls uh, to where I need to be for my macros. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got going on this week. Uh, being on Friday night, my wife won $400 and that was a good hit for us. And uh, so they gave us a little more money to play around for the month. My cat update, I had to go get his nails clipped on Monday and then on uh, Thursday, I believe, I'm supposed to be bringing them over to have them neutered, and uh, we'll see what happens if I still want to have them done this month or wait another month. But, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the sugar addiction and what's going on with me. I've been so stinking depressed there lately because of my hip and everything, and I, and I volunteered Friday night. Um, I started walking around with the uh, charity tickets there, and my hip's starting to really bother me on my left hip, so I have to have that done. So this, this coming week, I'm going to be calling up the uh, Dr. Burroughs, and I'm going to find out if I can have it done in either the end of July or in the uh, beginning part of August sometime frame. And because uh, it's going to take two or three weeks for my uh, hip to heal, and then after that, it'll take at least three or four months for it to get back to where the uh, right one that feels pretty good. And uh, so I think that's another reason why I've been depressed and I've been making some uh, bad food choices or I've been overeating uh, on the uh, carnivore. But uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I haven't been able to figure it out there. I know I got a food addiction and a sugar addiction. And uh, I gave up the, uh, so far on the uh, carnivore challenge, I, I'm not doing the, I haven't craved the uh, sugary sodas even though I'm doing Coke Zero and, and that. And I, I found a new drink that I like that has a lot of electrolytes in it. So I bought a couple of cases of, uh, of the water over there at the uh, BJ's Wholesale. It's, a, it's a Propel. That's the name of the water. It's got electrolytes. It's got a lot of great flavors. They got a pineapple flavor, strawberry, kiwi, strawberry, grape, uh, orange, uh, lemon, uh, a whole host of other ones. I, it's great about the BJ's Wholesale. I bought a case of it, but two cases of 24 in a case in the, the three different variety of uh, flavors and a few different cases of varieties that they have up there and the ones that they don't have they get the odd odd ball, bottle, bottles of water over there at the market basket brand but yeah i'm just uh you know i did sufficient this week wednesday i caught my first rainbow trout uh, i posted the video earlier um i was at the uh, pond down in barrett park in early in the morning on a wednesday uh, i was the only one there Fishing was great. I had the whole pond to myself. Cast the first cast in the water. Boom, I caught a 14 inch rainbow. And then I uh, caught five fish total. I caught uh, three rainbow and two perch. And, uh, you know, I don't catch them. I catch them and keep them. I just catch them and release them. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, with, and we've been cranking out the recipes. And uh, for all you new YouTube subscribers that recently joined me, thank you very much for coming along to my YouTube channel. We have like 668 uh, subscribers now, as of this video anyways, and I'm gonna continue to put uh, more and more recipes up there each and every day, and uh, we edit some older ones and put those up. I'm probably gonna go back to some of my older videos and and do like a split comparison and just talk about that particular week for like, a, you know, just to, to encourage you guys to get out there and get healthy. And I mean, I'm certainly not giving up. I mean, just because I'm having a bad, um, you know, 
uh, you know, a month or a couple of months here because I've had the problems with my feet. Uh, my feet are 100% better. I want to go back to work, but here's what the deal is with the work issue there. I don't want to go back to work this soon and be out again and say, geez, I got to go and have hip surgery. And then all of a sudden, you know, you know, I'm, I'm working three weeks and I'm cruising along really good and I got to go out again. I don't think that's fair to an employer. So that's what my plan is for my uh, job, to put that on temporary hold right now. But we do make enough money to get by every month, and that's the main thing. Now, I had my green shirt on, and I ended up swapping it out with this one because my shirts are starting to get tighter on me again. I just sent out with two uh, extra large shirts, and I was in a medium to a large, depending on the material. The medium definitely doesn't fit me right now, but the large still does, but it fits me a little tight. And I don't like to wear tight clothes. I like to feel my clothes are loose when I'm walking and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I got a nice white shirt and a nice purple shirt that's coming in this week. And, uh, yeah, and I'm going to get, oh, my wife made some Swedish meatballs yesterday. I helped her out with the process. That was pretty easy. Uh, we just put some pork rind breadcrumbs in it. She died. I took a regular russet potato, a half of one. And some, uh, an onion, we grate it and put it, mix it all in together with salt and pepper. And then she fries it up, and then I'll finish cooking them up in the air fryer later today. And that'll be our meal for today. And I made a meatloaf at the balance of the ground beef for later on in the week. And, uh, you know, when I break the uh, beef and butter fast, and uh, that's how I'm going to approach it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going along good other than just the weight gain this past week. But remember, life is a journey, and uh, you just take one day at a time as God gives it to you and hope tomorrow is better than today, and today is better than yesterday. And, you know that's that's how I'm approaching it. You know, you know, and uh, again, we Friday night there we did the charity. She had another fantastic crowd, a lot of new faces I saw. My sister even came in and played bingo and uh, said hi to her and talked to her most of the night. And you know, she is right about a lot of things. She says, Ron, she says even if you have your hip surgery done, um, uh, you know, you're always going to have issues with something. And I go, yeah, and I get that, you know. But I just in the meantime. I feel as if now I'm ready to have my hip replaced on my left hip. I had my hip one done last June, and my left hip is doing exactly what my right hip was doing before prior to surgery. I'm walking and it just gives out on me from time to time. So, so we know it's time and they gotta have it done. And uh, I'll, I'll give uh, Dr. Burroughs a call later in the week and find out if, uh, you know, what's a good time schedule for the hip surgery. And if I need to have it done sooner, I'll have it done sooner than I want. The sooner I have it done, the sooner I can be on the men. So, uh, anyways, that's the plan with that. So, what do we got going on this week, guys? We're going to do a beef and butter fast starting Wednesday for three or four days. We'll do a period of a transition over the carbs on Saturday with the uh, Swedish meatball meatloaf that I had made there from yesterday. And uh, continue on cranking out the recipe. Some ice cream videos they got planned. I want to make a uh, mozzarella and nun flour uh breadstick uh, recipe that I came across and a lot of other YouTubers have been sending me uh, links to their recipes and some other great uh, YouTubers that I follow and all those recipe YouTubers that I follow along many of them in our MMA show more and uh, you know if you got anything you want me to make low carb let me know and I'll be happy to make it and uh, but I would encourage you guys just uh, don't give up and just take one day as God gives it to you and with that said, I just wanted to remind you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you're, you're encouraged to go over to my Facebook support group, our Ron's Keto Cafe Facebook support. And I encourage you to post your before and after photographs and any recipes you want to share. And uh, that's about all I got to say. And uh, don't remember, oh yeah, if you have a father, happy Father's Day. And my dad's been gone now since the early 1980s. He, he, I think he passed away when he was 50, 51. And uh, so I really didn't get a chance to know him too much, or, you know, because he was always busy drinking and uh, the alcohol got better of him. But, you know, it is what it is. He was a good dad. And, uh, you know, I just wish him a happy Heavenly uh, Father's Day. And you know, all you fathers out there have a happy Father's Day. So let me ask you a question. Just because I'm, a, I'm a cat owner now. Does that count as a uh, father now? <laughs> so I guess I'm a cat father. But anyways... Uh, have a great day. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Have a great day, guys. Be watching. Put some more videos at the end of the week. And I got um, some of the, on the new intro that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be uh, changing those photographs up from time to time. 
And it's pretty interesting in the journey. But anyways, have a great day, guys. Love you guys.